Hello, Bakers. Welcome to Bakerpedia's Wisdom Wednesday. Today's topic is sourdough or sour foal. Faux, F-A-U-X, meaning false or fake in some way, right? Uh, in the United Kingdom, there is a new voluntary definition proposed to help provide consumers with quality craftsmanship information. Almost 10 years ago, the term sour foe had been coined to refer to those bakers who do not follow artisanal craft methods in producing sourdough loaves. These might be dry sour, and or the addition of fumaric and or acetic acid to emulate the sour flavor, and the addition of commercial yeast to accelerate the fermentation and final proofing. Artisans who take the time and effort to maintain traditional processes are taking aim to protect the craft. Artisanal sourdough creates many different nuances from the flours used, as well as the environment that the sour is cultured in. There is even a sourdough library in Belgium with hundreds of distinctly different sourdough starter samples. I have a friend with a very successful artisanal bakery in Toronto who has had success in transplanting a sourdough culture from his home region of Alsace in France. It is surprisingly effective in creating a very unique flavor character. The sample he brought to Toronto is from a starter that was already more than 100 years old or active. The Association of Bakery Ingredient Manufacturers, ABIM, in the United Kingdom, have outlined a voluntary code of practice known as a COP. This is not just some label or sticker claim to put on packaging. There is a detailed set of guidelines to assist with baking, marketing, and labeling of sourdough. There is a section with clear definitions on how to produce the bread, even citing regulations and code of practices in other countries, as well as ingredient definitions for labeling declarations. The ultimate intent is to assist bakeries and consumers to help prevent misleading labels and preserve the integrity of sourdough bread definitions and methods. Several stakeholders in the baking industry were involved in creating the definitions and support the COP practice and guidelines. This practice proposes that the name sourdough as a preface of the product name only be used where a live active sourdough culture is used and the principal leavening agent. If commercial yeast is used, the term sourdough can only be added as a descriptor, like whole wheat bread with sourdough, not sourdough whole wheat bread. There is still pushback on this as it is seen as too liberal to allow larger producers to profit from the trend of growing consumer interest and does not fully protect artisanal methods. For now, it is still a proposed code of practice and not enshrined into regulatory law just yet. There are European Union regulations outlining fair information practices that may provide some conflict with the proposed labeling. Along the trend and interest in sourdough, I have also seen more frequent mention or reference to bread sommeliers. When it comes to wine service in a refined restaurant, there is often an expert to consult the guests on the wine that they have available and recommended for pairing with their dining selections or other purpose. There are training courses for this, and sometimes the term sommelier is also called a wine steward. There is no regulatory or official requirement to be certified 
And this becomes a marketing benefit to be able to promote the status. Similarly now, experts familiar with the various sourdough products a bakery produces may offer a sommelier service to recommend the best bread pairing for your event, be it dinner, wine, picnic, or other occasion. The bread sommelier can offer detailed descriptors, best pairing experiences, and so on. To summarize, as some bits of wisdom to impart you with, market your artisanal methods and practices by name. Utilize the efforts you put in to share with prospective customers. Create added interest, following, and leverage value. While a picture can paint a thousand words on Instagram, creating a following for your sourdough descriptions and name varieties could be a real novel trendsetting move. Train your people to really know your products and what differentiates them, how to pair them with wine, chocolates, vegetables, proteins, and cold cuts, what makes the best toasted peanut butter and banana sourdough toast, which of your breads is the king, your sourdough Elvis, or is it the perfect PBJ boss of New Jersey that Bruce so loves? I hope this Wisdom Wednesday provides you with a tasty rusk of wisdom to chew on and up your game for sourdough and other delicious bread baking. My name is Mark Flerka. You can also catch me on my Baked and Science podcast wherever you get your podcasts. This has been Bakerpedia's Wisdom Wednesday. Yeah.